Today we're finishing up our series on normal void tower. We're finishing up floors 98, 99, and 100 together because some of you are still struggling. Welcome everybody. My name is Bear Cozy. If it's your first time to the channel, I strive to make not only entertaining but also educational videos. I like to make account progress videos. I like to make guides and I like to have fun in general. And today we are working on the last few floors of regular void tower. And then we're going to go into hard void tower after the reset. Now I have made several videos on regular void tower and I'm still getting comments of people thanking me for showing them how to do it correctly. Some of you are struggling just like I was because of the mechanics and sometimes making small changes and using clever mechanics to your advantage helps a lot. So the team that I typically use is Brand, Nathalia, Zatlox, and Opal, and or Antonua, fill in the rest. What I want to do is today I want to take out Brand and Nathalia. We can keep Opal in because she has the uh, joint attack, right? And then what I want to do, let's go ahead and use Sierra and maybe what we can do is either use Antonua or we can use Lunar Mel. Lunar Mel works really, really well. Or if you're not using Zatlux, I like to use Irindil for a joint attack team as well. That works out really well. So for these last three floors, there are a ton of options. You just have to use whatever you have. The key component here is to manual the first couple of waves, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to manual a few waves. There goes Sierra. She's just going to proc her passive, and if you have her, you can use her. If not, you can use Antonua. I've used Antonua for a bunch of these videos, and it works out really, really well. And then what I'm going to do is, with Lunar Mal, I'm just going to do an AoE taunt that it locks out everybody's abilities, and then it's pretty much auto after this. This should work it. Now, if you are struggling on some of these floors, and of course the, the auto uh, AI sometimes goes to the wrong targets and gets deflected, but if you are struggling on some of these floors, be mindful to use your stuns appropriately. Stay, save your stun spell for the correct enemy, and you just have to have enough damage. If you don't have enough damage to clear some of the final bosses, that will be a problem. So if you are struggling, go ahead and go back to Queen of Tides and farm Queen of Tides 11 or 12, as Queen of Tides is the easiest one to do. Now, this is floor 99. This is usually where people get stuck with Mathasia and with Urzag. And this is what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and use a joint attack team. And I am bringing Lunar Mel for the AoE taunt. If you don't have an AoE taunt, you can also use Godfrey. Godfrey will work. My Godfrey doesn't have great stun gear, but he will work. So a lot of times I use Lunar Mel. You can also use Boolin's pretty good. And just keep an eye on the Water Prison stun spell for Mathasia so she doesn't res anybody. And then what we probably want to do is we probably want to bring somebody that deals fire. So I leveled Garonal and I leveled uh, Valeria and Sierra has their gear. I have one set of uh, average set that I actually rotate around. So that is the key. If you aren't feeling stuck, let's go ahead and try this. I don't know if this is going to work, but I don't see why it shouldn't. A lot of times this is a mix and match to figure out what works for you to see what works to try different things. And uh, once you find something that works, you kind of rinse and repeat and you can use any heroes that you want. Now, for this, here's what I'm going to do. We are going to stun Mathasia. However, Mathasia is really, really slow. Looking on the bottom, since this is the last turn, this is the boss wave. Looking on the bottom, that's the turn order. Mathasia is very, very last. So we can go ahead and use defense down. And, of course, everybody dodges it. So I'm just going to unload on Mathasia to see if we can do anything here. Um, right now, actually, what do we want to do? We don't have buffs. So Godfrey is actually pretty good. He will steal one random positive effect from the enemy, transfer it to your whole team, which is nice. So we're going to save that for when Joseph takes his turn. And right now, I think we're just going to put unhealable and silence on Mathasia. If that lands, we are good. She's not going to be healing anybody. And then we're going to save the stun for next turn. So you don't always need to have an AoE taunt hero. I wanted to use Godfrey since I just leveled him. And we are just going to be focusing on taking her down. She's probably going to pop her heal. However, everybody else is still alive. She is dead. And there we go. So Joseph, uh, we can even stun Joseph at this point. But let's do this. Let's uh, let Joseph live. Let's go ahead and stun Urzag. And uh, okay, maybe let's go ahead and kill Urzag. Maybe. And then uh, we'll see if Sierra kills everybody. If not... We're going to use Godfrey. Is her passive going to proc? It didn't proc. So we're going to use Godfrey to steal the buffs. There we go. So he actually buffed. Godfrey didn't steal anything, which is which is interesting. His, uh, his passive did proc, and I think he locked out Joseph's ultimate because Joseph didn't do his buffs, right? 
Had he done his buffs, we were going to use Godfrey's ultimate to go ahead and steal them. But since Joseph did not do his buffs, that means his ultimate got locked out from Godfrey's passive. So that is a really good thing to do as well as if you want to, his trait, he deals 80% damage to the enemy recipient of one positive effect and 50% chance of extending the cooldown of the target's ultimate ability by one turn. And if he's ascended to a two, that is 100% chance to lock everybody's ultimates and he does not need to be that fast. You can actually make him a little bit slower because his trait is gonna proc whenever the enemy team buffs. And then you can use his ultimate to steal one positive effect from the enemy and put it on your own team. So that works out really well. So let's go ahead and kill him. There are lots of options. This is why I make these videos because in the last video, I had a comment saying, thank you very much for showing me how to stun the stun guy. And the stun guy in the last video was Thomas. It was one of the floors, 85 or 89, 90, something like that. Thomas was very tough to get through because he stuns. There, that was a tanky team, and I specifically said, save your Water Prison stun spell for Thomas so your damage dealer doesn't get stunned and you don't get stuck. And I had a comment saying thank you very much for letting me know to use the stun spell. So this is why I make these videos. I realize that normal Void Tower is fairly easy for most of you, but some of you are still struggling, including myself. I was there, so I understand. I still have friends that are struggling to clear it on every rotation. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go in with the same team. We're gonna let Godfrey shine. If you don't have Sierra, you can always use Bulin. If you can always use Valeria, you can always use Garonal. Valeria and Garonal don't have gear. You can actually, you can for this, you can actually use Flarence will work as well. Let's go in with Flarence, see how she does. Flarence is really good because of her heals, but also her counterattacks. So for this floor, which is floor 100, I am gonna use Flarence. I'm gonna unload with uh, Opal's ultimate. Opal goes first because she stacks the joint attack, as you can see there. So she goes first, which is nice. And then she's just gonna continue doing her thing. We're gonna save all the spells for later. And if you are struggling, if you don't have enough heals, bring in somebody like Flarence, bring in Blackhorn, bring in Rodira. Flarence is very, very good because she has the counter attack which is very nice. So this, we always struggle. I always find that people struggle on the last floor with CC because of her buff. So if we look at her buff, she has ability and effective rendered one time and she has two stacks. So you have to get through those two stacks before she takes any damage. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do Sundering Purgatory. That should take off one stack. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna attack somebody. Right now, I'm wondering if it's worth it using Opal's basic on CC just to get that buff off because we have Irindil that's going to join in and we also have Sierra that's going to join in later So I think let's just go ahead and save her ultimate. Let's just take that buff off because it's very important She's going to be immune for now But no longer because the stack is off and then what we can also do is we can either go ahead and and uh, Stun her or we can use that'll actually work as well And then what we can do is we can just heal everybody and give them Joint attacks, so when our team takes an AoE attack, they all are gonna counter attack, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and, uh, I don't know, who shall we kill? I guess CC, we're just gonna continue. Probably a wasted stun there, but I wanted to make sure we kill her, and that's uh, not a big deal. I forgot about Sierra, but there we go. Her passive proc, and you could see she deals a ton of damage. So that already, just off of Sierra's passive, most of the heroes died. And now when Crazed Urzag takes a uh, AoE, all of our heroes are gonna counter attack, and he'll probably be did they not counterattack? Maybe they did. Maybe I missed it. But that was the plan. That was the plan. However, maybe they... Uh... But anyways, you see how that works. So you can use lots of different options. I feel like for me at this point, it's very easy. I can do it on auto. But also, using a clever use of mechanics, making sure you get the debuff off of CC. I've talked about this a couple of times. That is the biggest thing, in my opinion. Because once she attaches herself to another hero, it is they are extremely hard to kill. So there it is. I like to bring different team options, different heroes in the mix to show you that you can do it with different heroes. And all you need is one or two sets of gear and then you can just rotate it around to other different heroes like I am doing with Sierra. I thank you guys for leaving me all of the comments. I've been getting some comments on asking my help to clear floor 100, floor 95, floor 99. I know some of you are stuck and this is why I've been making these videos and from here on out, I think we're going to focus on Hard Void Tower. And right now, let's go ahead and claim all our resources. I love doing this together on camera because it's just a giant wall of resources 
which is awesome. And it gives me a lot of a lot of stuff, right? A lot of shards, a lot of diamonds, and it works out really, really well. And then, of course, we claim the Ancient Summoning Crystal together, and I have, this is going to be eight, which is awesome. I never thought I'd get this high, but I have not been popping them, because right now I have more heroes than I have gear. So, there it is. That is how you clear Floor 100 of regular Void Tower. I know it's fairly easy for some people, and some others are still struggling. So, I hope this cleared out any misunderstandings. Focus on CC first, and if you don't have the damage, a couple of things you can do. Work on clearing Queen of Tides for better gear for much higher damage if that's where you're struggling. Or the other thing that you can do is bring some joint attack heroes, which is what I did. I brought Opal, I brought Irindil. You can also bring Antonua. She is fantastic as well. So there are lots of options. You can also bring Jacob. Jacob's going to take a little bit of time. However, he is doable. So don't be afraid to experiment and save your Water Prison stun for not only the stun ability, but also that buff removal ability as well. Or if you want to take invulnerability buff off of the enemy, that is what you use it for. So I hope this helps. Thank you everybody for watching the video. As always, leave me a nice comment down below if this video helped you. Also, don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe buttons down below. That's going to do it for me. I thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next video.